another few weeks, Governor Fanyo Kowa will be breasting the tape on the finishing line, marking the end of his eight years tenure as Governor of Delta State. And afterwards, the stakeholders would term a most successful tenor. With tremendous development across the state, he's expected to finish strong and have his name etched in the Hall of Fame and Hearts of Delta. Before he came on board on May 29, 2015, his predecessors in office had done their best in the health sector of the economy. However, as a medical doctor, with a better understanding of healthcare delivery services, he knew he had to do more and better what he met on ground. As part of his rebuilding process, he injected the required funds after identifying areas that needed strengthening while keeping an eye on other competing sectors of the economy to ensure even attention. In today's episode of Smart Delta, we will show you how his efforts yielded results and impacted the lives of Deltas. My name is Henrietta Nwarafu. Stay tuned. ultimate vision of Governor Fanyokoa in revamping the health sector was to ensure a healthy citizenry and enhance their productivity while promoting the general well-being of Deltans. Through the Ministry of Health and Allied Parastatals, the Delta State governments recorded great feats in healthcare delivery in just a few years. Investing in training and retraining of the healthcare workers and the provision of up-to-date equipment for prognosis and diagnosis of medical cases has in a major way assisted in tackling emerging health challenges. The first initiative we did come into office was the bill for the Better State Health Insurance Scheme. It was passed and became a law. The commission was set up and today we have a robust health insurance scheme uh, catering for both the formal and the informal sector. That scheme alone you know, opens up the healthcare space to every person. We need to improve on the infrastructure we had on ground. So we did a lot of uh, renovations, equipment of uh, places. We engaged appropriate personnel uh, to also render uh, care. Right now, out-of-pocket expenditure is very much reduced. Quality health care facilities are available. Trained personnel are available. Uh, of course, there's always space for more. Uh, but for where we've come thus far, I think their towns are happy. Senator Dr. Fanyo Koa has made a tremendous impact in the health sector. In the primary health care setting, we have had uh, so much improvement in the health of the people at the grassroots. They have enjoyed so much in health benefits ranging from the contributory health scheme, where we have free under five treatment and free uh, pregnant women assessing care, not only for deathans that are resident here, but even non deathans that are resident in the state. So he has done so much on that. The provision of basic health care uh, provision funds, which we use to uh, fund and equip our PACs and make them accessible for care. The quality of staff, equipment and services being rendered in Delta hospitals has attracted patients from far and near. I'm enjoying the treatment given to me in this Delta state. The first time I came here, they take my registering and nobody asks me where I'm from. And they don't ask for any money for any treatment given to me. That is why the governor made the Lord bless him and give him more grace to his able in Jesus' name. Senator Dr. Ato Ifanyo Kowa, the governor of Delta State, for eight years I will rate him very well. He has done so well. He has supported the health sector. We have many people from across Nigeria in the state. When you are accredited and you are registered, you can assess the health care. Smart Delta Media Cruise Quest for first-hand information took us to Ogara Teaching Hospital to see things for ourselves. Our team was met by the Chief Medical Director, Professor Neku Okolubo, who took us on a facility tour of the hospital.
now our box store. Okay? Where all our drugs are now kept. One of the departments we visited was the pharmacy. The department's lead pharmacist, Professor Richard Ogide, was elated to show us around some recently installed facilities such as the code room, box store, and pre-packaging room. This is what we call the pre-packaging unit. The pharmacy does this preparation. Mm -hmm. so, so say this is what will be in each of the pack. The technicians and the other staff there, they do the packaging. What we are enjoying today is the renovation work that was done by the Delta State Government. And I can say categorically that this Department of Financial Services were a major beneficiary of this renovation exercise because the store you are standing today is just for drugs. There's also another bigger store where we keep medical consumables. So we have more capacity now in terms of space where we keep our drug items and medical consumables. Because the teaching hospital is a referral center. So patients will be referred from Warri, Sapler, Ugeli, different places to this place. And most times when they come, of course, they are the critical stage. So we also have those drugs that are meant to minor cure or manage critical situations. Udo Uzoamaka, the team lead in the intensive care unit, told the Smart Delta team that they have everything at their disposal for ease of work and expressed gratitude for the government's forthrightness. Personally, it is perfect. You have everything to work with. Not that all those times that you want to get a monitor, monitor is bad, ventilator is bad, but now we have everything to care for our patients. The unit is made up of six bedded. We have four beds in the open ward, two side rooms. We admit patients from all corners of the hospital and even from outside. Patients that we admit are critically ill patients that need ventilatory care. Some are HDUK. The outcome has been very good. I would like to use the opportunity to thank Governor Okowa Ifai for helping us out and putting smiles on our faces and the face of our patients. Not done yet. We were ushered into a world-class theater room, as the professor called it. To enter it, we were made to wear protective gears. This is the brand new theater. So this theater one, usually the kind of cases we do here, Monday orthopedics, Tuesday O and G, Wednesday orthopedics, Thursday general surgery, and Friday plastic for this particular theater. This is a machine that gives um, an aesthetic agent to the patient during intubation. Then it also preserves the patient during extubation. Patients have been brought from different places because they know there are many specialties here, right here in their suit, and which are ready and able to work and do the work perfectly. This Sokova administration has given us a lot in their suit, which my eyes has really seen many. Nurse Neka Ono, a care operative, shared with us how things were before the transformation. We've had a down times, but thanks to His Excellency Dr. Ifan Yokoa, who has actually given the hospital another facelift and has also supplied some more equipment. While we're at the decant site, our surgery actually dropped because that wasn't a good place for us to work. But since we came back here in February, there's been a kind of increase in our productivity and our services. Everybody is very, very happy. He has been able to recruit more resident doctors and health officers. We all work as a team. The team was also shown the camera that captures the ongoing surgery process, which allows students to follow procedures and learn from the comforts of their classrooms. This is an example of a surgery for infection control. Don't need to be inside the theater. They can just gather around here and watch surgeries being performed inside the theater. This can actually be transmitted, the images coming and the video into their lecture hall. So they may just sit down in the lecture hall and be watching all the surgeries that are being performed in the theater. The other area we toured include, but not limited to the ambulance department, 80 bedded building, community medicine department, public health museum, medical library, dialysis unit and pediatric ward. What we saw to a large extent show the efforts of the government to enhance healthcare delivery. Before now, we were over there in a place that is very small. And when it's raining, the mothers are not really getting comfortable per se. But with the efforts so far, we were able to get somewhere like this where we can render appreciable care to the clients. The state government have done so well in terms of healthcare services. 
and like as I can say, we are improving. Smart Delta. Oh, Oni, how is our child? <sighs> our child is fine. <sighs> you know, Governor Koa is ensuring that we have sophisticated medical equipment to deliver good healthcare services here in Delta State. I am aware Governor Okowa upgraded facilities at the Delta State University Teaching Hospital, Ogara. Daddy. Oh, my daughter, how are you? I am fine. Oh. The doctors say they will be discharging her soon. Governor Okowa improving Delta State healthcare system. Smart Delta. Because healthcare is unaffordable to most people, to ameliorate out-of-pocket payments for Medicare and ease the financial burden on individuals and families, one of the things Governor Fanya did in 2015 when he took over the reins of governance was to sponsor the Contributory Health Insurance Commission Bill. This move fostered wider coverage without digging too deep into the finances of the masses. So far, the scheme has covered over 20% of Delta's populace. I want to appreciate the governor for what he has done for us because Assuming there was no health center in this place, we would have wasting our money to rush down to worry, to look for air. But this time, they have given us a center. To so don't stress ourselves again, everything is free. I got registered at seven months, so they've been taking care of me. They give us free drugs. Then, I'm coming here, it was free. I didn't pay for anything. I just got my necessary things, which are those normal things they say we should get. But the rest is, I my husband didn't pay a dime. I thank God for safe delivery. This is my third baby, and I've given birth to all my children in this hospital. And I will tell you something, that free matanake, I am so grateful for it. Dr. Kowa is working. The man is trying because this hospital is working. Both the nurses and the doctors, all of them is working. This hospital is the best. So all thanks to Kowa, everything is free. Ijoma Chibuzo is one out of over 1.3 million in release who now enjoy free, affordable and accessible healthcare in approximately 510 accredited hospitals in Delta State. It's pertinent to note that this scheme has catered for over 6 million medical needs of Deltans across all the health plans. The successful implementation of the Delta State Contributory Health Insurance Scheme has attracted accolades from sister states of the Federation, placing Delta State as a model worthy of emulation. They welcome this scheme. That is why we are having more than enough patients. Like today now, we have 170 patients that we have treated today. We send some to doctor, we attend to some. This scheme brought a lot of people who wouldn't have come to hospital to come to hospital to receive health care because they are no longer afraid of bill. So for that, they have saved a lot of life. To say that before the coming of Governor Fanyokoa, many primary health care centers across the state were in the discrepant condition is an understatement. Okoa's deliberate intervention and investment in primary health care facilities through the Delta State Primary Health Care Development Agency have greatly enhanced health care service delivery at the grassroots, improving the overall performance of the health sector significantly. Delta State government have done so well. I've seen a lot of quality things. It shows that there is government present in the state. I'm to narrow it down to the State Ministry of Health. I've been hearing the fact that there is kind of executive secretaries that are doctors in each of the health deals that are mounting the primary health center and mounting the local government. That is a welcoming development in the change of health sector. I must commend the Delta States. It's one of the first states that has um, carried the torch of the basic health care provision fund. It's been great 
it's uh, working with the Delta State Primary Healthcare Development Agency. I mean, there is all about primary health care, starting from the grassroots, ensuring that health gets to all. The agency's preparedness to counter outbreaks has been evident during the outbreak of yellow fever, polio, monkeypox, and even malaria, to mention a few. Regular immunization of both children and adults and donation of malaria nets to families are benefits enjoyed by Deltans. Governor, Senator Dr. Ifan Yokoa has done a lot to support disease control in general and even elimination of certain diseases. So we do a lot of routine work to prevent outbreaks rather than having those diseases occurring in children and even in adults. Even in non-communicable diseases, there's a lot uh, being done to ensure that the rate of disease occurrence is reduced significantly. This immunization, it helps to curb some, a lot of you know, diseases, especially this same um, a vaccine will take against polio against measles, yellow fever, and etc. I'm impressed. The Delta State government, they are wonderful, especially our governor, actor, Ifan Yokowa. It is with this energy, commitment, and proactiveness of His Excellency towards firming up the sector through the upgrade of the primary health care services and the contributory health scheme with the training of doctors and creation of properly equipped health facilities across the state that contributed immensely to the state's preparedness in fighting COVID-19 pandemic. What the Delta State Primary Health Care Development Agency did in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and also with all the funding from His Excellency Senator Dr. Ifanyo Kowa, who were able to curtail the COVID spread. And that means we use the structure that we normally use to run the primary healthcare development agency. One of the bills Okoa paid attention to and signed into law was the Delta State Control of HIV and AIDS law established in 2016 and the HIV AIDS Anti-Discrimination and Protection Bill passed by the Assembly in 2022. It also showed that the state government is not relenting in deepening the fight to end the global HIV pandemic in Delta State. Just a year and a half ago, we had about 22,700 persons on treatment and they were classified as an HIV scourge state. They got to his attention of His Excellency. He summoned us. He empowered us to go and search for Deltans anywhere. They have HIV and make sure they are placed on treatment. I can tell you as I speak now, over 66,000 Deltans are on treatment. And those 66,000 are not only on treatment, they are virally suppressed. So they are not in position to transmit the virus to any person in any form. That will tell you the amount of support the government has given. He made sure that um, we had enough consumables and we are carrying out tests massively in all communities uh, as much as we can. I'm taking my drugs regularly. I'm living a healthy life. I'm okay. I have children. I'm married. God, we bless them because it has not been easy. They tried. Sometimes even though we don't even have transport to come, their staff will see carry the drugs to come and meet us at home. They know our houses. The saying that two heads are better than one enthused the governor to curate strong partnership with UNICEF, WHO, MPH, CDA, and other health professionals. There's a lot of a collaboration we want to with UNICEF. They have been quite a lot. Also, the WHO is doing a lot in the state. Uh, of course, the Global Fund, our partners also takes the state is cut up a draw for you to experience successes in this area. We are working harmoniously with these partners, and that is why we are having a success in the field. Collaboration and uh, integration, the key. The governor and even the governor's wife, they have done a lot in terms of health, uh, taking health to their towns. And that's why we are even happy, that's why we are also saying that we collaborate. The government cannot do it alone. In consonance with the commitment of his administration, Governor Kowa has consistently supported and honored health programs within and outside the state. In fact, the governor, Dr. Ifan Yokowa, has been very helpful and he always comes when we are calling. Even when we are not even calling, we call. Have you done your program? What is the position of your program? Do you need any approval? Let me give so I can approve every program he wants us to do. 
and he wanted fast track and we done it fast and everything went well. It has helped the dead town so much. Every program could go down to the grassroots. The specialist hospital that provides modern healthcare delivery initiatives and schemes to Deltans and neighboring states, completed and inaugurated by His Excellency Senator Ifanyokoa, continues to blaze the trail. <laughs> Governor Maru Fintiri, who inaugurated the projects with him, expressed that the giant projects equipped with state-of-the-art facilities in the heart of the city will no doubt impact lives. His Excellency Dr. Ifai Otto Okoa, a leader in every sense of the world, overwhelming that he chose no other occasion to invite me to Delta State than the ceremony of the formal commissioning of the Asaba Specialist Hospital. A giant project which will no doubt positively impact the life of the people, change the narratives of secondary health care services delivery in Delta State. The projects I have seen in Delta State, which include the specialist hospital, is a clear testimony that with more devolution of responsibilities and resources to state, so much can be done. I now call on the federal government to please ensure that all funds as contained in the National Health Act is released and 50% of that fund actually goes into health insurance for the vulnerable. And the most vulnerable in our society today are the pregnant women and children under five years of age. And if we can truly fund the health insurance cover for this set of people, we'll be saving a lot of lives Advanced Diagnostic Medical Center and Mother and Child Center Abo, a twin medical facility, provides first-hand medical services and take care of illnesses afflicting women and children and discourage those who may want to seek medical treatment abroad. One of my daughter is pregnant. She came to this place and she delivered normally. Here is like abroad. What I saw here, in fact, I'm impressed. The facilities are very, very okay. Just like the ones because we see through television, Okawa. Everybody is thanking him. I they tell Dr. Okawa, I say, God, go help him. I don't enter inside. Very beautiful, very fine place. If I come here, I don't go go house again. Food when he day here, I go to eat him. Because they do us well. If they give us rice, they give us many things. Nothing where we go find, no go give us. So if you don't get anything, come meet your car while I go give you. For healthcare delivery personnel in Delta State, the icing on the cake is the government's policy of prompt payment of salaries and emoluments. Also, those deserving of promotions are promptly attended to, as and when due, without much ado. Governor Kowa has not owed us. Like I tell people every day, if you say salary wise, I say Governor Kowa is somebody that has not owed. Even if he doesn't come on the 29th, he pays regularly. He's not owing anybody a dime. Apart from the free medical treatment, salaries as, are paid as at when due. Delta. Given the speed of reforms in the healthcare system, an evolution of the healthcare goals in Delta State over the years, it is safe to say that Governor Fanyokowa's health policies and programs in eight years has provided universal health coverage and equal access to medical services for all Deltans. My name is Henrietta Imwarako. Thank you for watching this episode of Smart Delta. The feedback segment. Question of the day. This week, we received a question on our Instagram platform from MX Multimedia and it reads, Will the free healthcare services for civil servants at the Secretariat Complex continue even after this present administration? Yeah, thanks for that question. Uh, certainly, all those who have been um, obtaining um, uh, healthcare at the Secretariat Clinic will still continue to. If they are under the health insurance scheme, the scheme continues. It's an established scheme, a strong scheme that will outlive 
several administrations. I want to urge all the attendants and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 0701337589 or send us a DM to all our social media platforms. You better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people set them cola. Come live in Delta. Say me, I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.